In this video, we will see how to change the sidebar panel elements based on the selected tab. And to achieve this, we are going to use conditional panel function. We have got three tabs here, the about tab, the data tab, and the plot tab. When I am in the about tab, all I see is a text displaying here. If I select the data tab, I have a select input to select the desired data set. I also got radio buttons here. When I click on the plot tab, I see two select inputs here to choose the x and y variables. The key here or the underlying concept is how to identify which tab is selected. And once we know that information, we can use that as a condition or uh, as uh, inside the condition argument of the condition, conditional panel to control the display of the widgets. Okay, let's get started. Here is the tab set panel code in, in the UI.R. And let's see, let's uh, review real quick the syntax of tab set panel and if you see here we have something called ID and we are going to use this uh, to identify which tab is selected along with the value we have for each of the tab panel let me explain you so in this case the ID I have is tab selected and it can have three values so tab panel so tab 1 has got value 1 tab 2 has got value as 2 tab 3 has got value as 3 what it means is if I am in tab 1 tab selected will have a value of 1 if I am in tab 2, the ID tab selected will have a value of 2. If I am in tab 3, tab selected will have a value of 3. Now that we know how to identify a particular tab, we can use this information in conditional panel and control the display of widgets. Let's see how to use conditional panel. In conditional panel, we have something called condition. This condition is nothing but a JavaScript expression, technically, where we actually use the input ID uh, or the, um, the ID of the widget, or basically uh, whatever uh, information we have, we want to put condition on. And based on, based on this expression, we show or control what we want to show as the other arguments. Let's take this as an example. Here we have input dot tab selected. Tab selected is nothing but the ID I have assigned to the tab set panel. Input dot tab selected if it, it, it's equal to three that means if the third tab is selected that's what it is saying. Now important point here is ideally it should have been a dollar sign here that's how we access the input uh, variables in in shiny so it should have been input dollar tab selected but we have in the way we put in conditional panel is input dot the id right and then we make it as a condition so that's how uh, we work out conditional panel now let's see how we have coded for uh, tab 1 then we will see tab 2 and we'll come back to tab 3. The basic question which comes to anybody's mind is where to put this conditional panel? Shall I put it in the header panel? Should I put it um, in the sidebar panel section or main panel section or where? And the simple answer is well it depends on the use case. Um, you need to see which part uh, of the UI uh, we want 
the display to be controlled in this particular use case we want the widgets uh, to show based on the conditional panel in the sidebar panel that's why you see all these conditional statements uh, in the sidebar panel okay so the first one here is conditional panel condition is we are checking if the data tab selected is one if yes then we show the text as a demo conditional panel had it been input dot tab selected as two which is tab number two then i want to display select input okay i've got this uh, select input um, uh, input widget i also have some radio buttons so i've got the radio buttons uh, input widget code here okay for my third tab i have i'm getting uh, some render ui um, uh, selected uh, select input from the server dot r so i'm i'm putting that piece uh, in the third conditional panel and that's how I'm controlling it.